The development of Russia's next-generation Manal Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, has been enhanced by combat experience gained during the war in Ukraine, according to Pyotr Tyakov, the executive director of Kurgamashavad, KMZ, a subsidiary of the High Precision Systems Company within the Rostec State High Tech Corporation. Research and development efforts are ongoing to create the Manal IFV, which is being designed in line with the Defense Ministry's requirements and the insights gained from the use of armored vehicles in Ukraine. Once all requisite tests are finalized, we will commence batch production," Tayakov said. Tayakov also revealed that the development process is expected to last about three more years. He emphasized the platform's versatility, stating that it would be capable of accommodating a wide array of weaponry. This includes multiple launch rocket systems, tube, and tubeless artillery systems, as well as air defense missile systems. Furthermore, the platform could be adapted for specialized vehicles, including those for radiochemical protection and medical purposes. Initially showcased at the Army 2020 Forum, the Manal IFV features several innovative characteristics. It comes with a front-mounted engine transmission compartment, an unmanned combat module, and a rear-folding ramp designed for easier troop deployment. The vehicle is part of a broader effort to modernize and diversify Russia's armored vehicle fleet, taking into account real-world combat scenarios and evolving military needs. The vehicle's development is not only aligned with the Ministry of Defense's specifications but is also shaped by practical combat experience, making it a potentially good asset in future military engagements. However, Russia has numerous ongoing projects, many of which are not making progress or even disappearing from the radar. As a result, many experts are gradually beginning to doubt Russia's ability to develop a new project and bring it to completion. It remains to be seen when this project will be completed and operational for combat.